So agricultural research first has to look at the challenges. I mean, which are the big questions we have to address? And then we have to think about the way we should adapt our systems to those challenges. So if I take, for example, um, the topic of uh, uh, micronutrient uh, deficiencies, then you see that to improve uh, the situation, you need a diversification of the agricultural systems. Then you need to innovate in genetics for, you know, orphan crops, or you need to innovate in agronomical, in agronomy, and for those systems, you need to innovate in uh, the value chain linked to those diverse products. So that's a field. First, thinking about what are the challenges, then looking at which research you need. And if I look at the global challenge, I would say that we will need productivity, but productivity of the factors, that is to say how to improve water efficiency, nutrient efficiency, uh, land efficiency, and not only labor and capital efficiency. Then we will need to take on board all the ecological functions so that they help the production systems. If I give you the example of the organic matter in the soil, we need to understand the microbes that you have in the soil around the roots so that they improve the intake of carbon, the intake of uh, you know, all the nutrients. So in fact, you need first to look at the challenges, then you need to look at which big questions, which big lock-in you have to address, and then you, know, you, you need to do big science, good science. So there are very new challenges, you are right. I mean, to address the Green Revolution 2.0, uh, you have big challenges. You have, of course, the climate change. I would say more generally, you have to have a productive agriculture, uh, productive agriculture taking on board all the environmental uh, topics. Could it be climate change? Could it be water efficiency? Could it be biodiversity? Could it be, you know, the soil degradation? All, the, all these items have to be taken on board when you do the new agronomy. And so it supposes that researchers work with the actors. Uh, the actors are the farmers, the actors are the providers, the actors are, you know, all what is around agriculture. And now you know that when you look at agriculture, you should be careful about water, energy, uh, demography, uh, growth system. You know, it's no more an isolated system. So in fact, the researchers need to belong to networks with practitioners, I would say in summary.